Hello and welcome to Discover Daily by Perplexity. I'm your host, Alex, and today we have a lineup of the latest stories, from Donald Trump's return to the stock market with his social media company to a major leadership shakeup at Boeing amid ongoing safety issues, to the surprising 30-year history of a temporary menu feature in Windows. Let's jump in. Did you know that former President Donald Trump is set to potentially earn billions as his social media company, Truth Social, goes public? That's right. Truth Social's parent company completed a merger with a shell company called Digital World Acquisition Core, allowing it to start trading on the Nasdaq today under the ticker symbol DJT. As the majority owner with a 58% stake, Trump stands to gain significantly with estimates he could earn over three to four billion dollars based on the current share price. However, there is a lockup provision preventing him from immediately selling shares for six months. Interestingly, this marks Trump's return to the stock market nearly 30 years after his previous company, Trump Hotels and Casino Resorts, went public in 1995 under the same DJT ticker before eventually filing for bankruptcy. Truth Social itself launched just over a year ago in February 2022, after Trump was banned from major social media platforms following the January 6th Capitol insurrection. It reportedly has around 5 million active users so far. However, some experts are skeptical of the $5 billion valuation for a money-losing company with only $3.4 million in revenue to date, as Trump Media lost $49 million in the first nine months of 2023 alone. The merger also faced delays due to investigations over whether the companies misled investors. It will be fascinating to see how Trump's second foray into the stock market plays out. Turning to some major corporate news, Boeing announced a significant leadership shakeup as the aerospace giant continues to grapple with safety issues and a federal investigation. CEO Dave Calhoun said he will step down at the end of 2024 after four years leading the company. He called the recent door blowout incident on a 737 MAX jet a watershed moment. Additionally, Boeing's commercial airplanes division, CEO Stan Deal, is retiring immediately, with COO Stephanie Pope taking over. And longtime chairman Larry Kellner will not stand for re-election, with board member and former Qualcomm CEO Steve Mollenkopf becoming the new chairman. In a letter to employees, Calhoun said, The eyes of the world are on us and pledged to prioritize safety and quality. However, critics argue more extensive cultural change is needed beyond executive turnover to address deep-rooted issues at Boeing. This shakeup comes as Boeing faces increasing scrutiny over the 737 MAX door incident, two deadly MAX crashes in 2018 to 2019, and other safety problems that have led to billions in losses and a criminal settlement with the Justice Department. Clearly, Boeing has a lot of work to do to restore its reputation and regain the trust of regulators, airlines, and the flying public. Finally today, a fascinating story about how a menu feature in Microsoft Windows, originally intended to be temporary, has endured for a remarkable 30 years. Back in 1994, Microsoft engineer Raymond Chen was tasked with quickly building a new menu for an upcoming trade show demo. He designed and coded it in a single day, thinking it was just a makeshift solution to meet the deadline. Fast forward to 2023, and Chen's creation is still present in the latest version of Windows 11, nearly three decades later. What was supposed to be a temporary fix became a permanent fixture, appearing in every version of the operating system since. This anecdote highlights the unexpected longevity of some software components and the challenges of replacing elements that users have grown accustomed to over many years, even if they were makeshift solutions. 
It also reflects the complex, layered history of software development at Microsoft and across the tech industry. As Chen himself put it, every piece of code is temporary until it isn't. Something to keep in mind the next time you encounter a quirky feature or menu in the software you use every day. It may have a longer and more interesting backstory than you'd expect. Thank you for tuning in to Discover Daily, where our goal is to bring you the most interesting and thought-provoking stories each and every day. Make sure to subscribe to the show on your favorite podcast platform. We'll include links to all of today's stories in the episode description, so check those out if you want to dive deeper into any of the topics we covered. We'll be back tomorrow with a brand new set of stories and insights. Until then, this is Alex reminding you to stay curious. Thanks for listening.